Splenda. Yes, sue me. I use Splenda. Sue me. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us uh, So, I woke up from my nap And I'm about to head over to the gym So, I'm gonna trick my pre-workout now I'm gonna go running I wish I could take it with me I can't. It is 86 degrees here in Florida and look at my jacket. I'm wearing a full jacket like nothing because I'm very comfortable in a comfort. I'm really comfortable in a in a in a in a hot environment so I'm gonna I love working out I'm just I love sweating and, and just trenching so uh, I'm gonna leave you So this is gonna be my post workout sugar today. Not that big, actually 250 calories, because I plan to get something healthy tonight. I am, listen, listen, listen. I am craving something healthy. It's incredible. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and, and I, I saved about 600 calories and 50 grams of protein just for tonight's dinner. So, I'm gonna uh, go out and just some, enjoy something healthy. I don't know, sushi, something like that. Uh, chicken teriyaki. Um, chicken teriyaki is not that healthy, but what the heck. Uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a little bit higher in sodium, but... Um, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna do a bunch of work. You wanna look like what a cheat meal looks for me? Let me show you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, this is not a cheat meal, as you can see. I don't have any cheat meals. Because I am amazing. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, so, um, so today's video, it's gonna be titled, let me fix that focus, there we go. Uh, the three biggest mistakes that I've made throughout my uh, own experience, um, what, what's the best and what's not. And one of those things is actually um, one of the things that I'm struggling this week. Uh, I'm not making as much progress as I want this week. Uh, that hurts to say, but I didn't make enough progress this week. Uh, mainly because of two factors. My training wasn't the best this week. And the um, second, I'm estimating way too much. So I'm gonna actually show you what I'm gonna have for dinner because I have only 600 calories left and uh, we're gonna fit it in there. Uh, this is chicken. Um, I have no idea, I'm estimating about 12 ounces and um, this is rice. But look at, look at the size of the rice they gave me. I don't know, that feels amazing. And um, we have a little bit of vegetables over here. I wanted some more vegetables, but they only give me this. Anyways, so yeah, that's a little bit of grilled chicken, a little bit of onions on top, and a lot of rice. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So for this, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need a scale. You're gonna need the plate where you're gonna put the foot in, uh, whatever condiment that you're using, and you're gonna need my fitness box. So as you can see here, I have a 650 calorie depth. And uh, we're gonna use this to fit it in there. And I have 50 grams of carbs. So this, we're gonna measure first the chicken, uh, which should be at right around eight ounces. And then we're gonna proceed. Right around eight ounces, so it's uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the chicken. Of keeping you in the right direction. Confidence may fall 
I'll be here as your foundation And I say, hey, you just So that's going to be 2.50 ounces and the whole thing is going to be 8.85 so the whole thing is 8.85 instead of 12 which was, was, was I was calculating so we're going to put it in here as 1 ounce and 8.85 8.85 so it's gonna be 221 calories boom bam and then we're gonna proceed with the rice so it's gonna be um white rice white rice jazz because i ask and that's what they say in white rice we're gonna try to aim for ounces as well so let's see if they have an ounce in here or 100 grams yeah, we're, we can make it in grams, so we're going to change this to grams. Yeah, okay, so that's going to be, we're at 251, then we're going to reset it. That's zero again, let me get a spoon for this. Perfect, so now that you can see it's in zero. So now we're going to start putting it in rice until we'll, we'll get 100 grams. So 130 calories for every 100 grams. So therefore, if I put everything, as you can see, uh, if I get 260 calories from there, it's gonna be perf be perfectly, yeah, perfectly fine, yeah. So it's gonna be, let's try to get 200 grams. So it's gonna be 260, boom, two, bam. And uh, I think I still have about 161, 169 calories left. Yeah, and um, 101, boom, and uh, so we're gonna get 100 more grams of this, and then we're gonna add in the passion. Perfect, so the whole thing right here is gonna be about 460 calories, uh, 200 grams of rice, and then I'm gonna throw this away, and I'm gonna eat the vegetables, which is gonna add in about 50 calories. Hold on, hold on to me. Perfect, so these are the three biggest mistakes that uh, I've done throughout my journey per se. So let's start with the first one and the most important to me. Um, not making the decision. Not making the decision that you're gonna change your body. And um, what I mean by this is every time that we make a decision, everything changes everything everything so i can give you the best diets you can have the best trainers in the world you can have the the best gyms everything but if you don't have the mindset you don't have the need the need that you're gonna make it and that you're gonna finish your journey at the end at the end of this journey you're gonna feel alive if you don't have that need if you don't make the decision that you say this is enough I'm tired of people calling me fat I'm tired of people making fun of me that I want to be an actor nothing will change nothing zero things zero things will change and I can give you the best diet I can give you the the best diets to what to eat what not to eat um, I can give you the best routine, but if you don't say, if you don't have that need, 
to change your body and you don't make the decision that this is who you're gonna be, zero things will change in your life. Zero, nothing, nothing will give you that. That's number one. So the second thing is a little bit more easier because the first one was super mentality and motivational, whatever. Uh, second thing, um, so when I started dieting, uh, I remember I used to worry about my hours. So I saw a video of this guy and uh, so he said that he was supposed to eat every three and a half hours to keep the metabolism up and to not burn muscle and whatever. Um, so I started following that type of diet. So I would go, I would wake up at 6 a.m. and then uh, eat my first meal, then 9.30, uh, 12.30, uh, 3.30, 7.30, and uh, I, I don't know, I would get something else like, like 9.30. But this is the thing, uh, I wasn't measuring calories. All I care was, am I eating every three and a half hours? Am I eating? Am I, I, I'm supposed to eat every three and a half hours because if not, then the metabolism is gonna stuck. Wait, fat is a stored energy source. Simple as that. Fat is a stored energy source. So therefore, if you spend more energy than what you're consuming, you're gonna burn fat. That's it. There's no magic tricks. Zero things. Zero. Um, that's one of the biggest mistakes that kept me from losing a bunch of fat. Even though I lost a little bit of weight, I was uh, 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 not focusing on calories. So I was going like this, then going like this. Boom, 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 boom. Go, go, go. And not focusing on that gave me a lot of trouble. Another thing is I used to eat super clean six days out of the week. So let's suppose that uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I used to eat super clean, super clean. And uh, let's suppose, because I wasn't measuring calories, let's suppose that I, uh, I was at 2,500 calories every single day. But then Sunday came in and I didn't have any of the foods that I liked throughout the week. What would you do? Six days completely out of sugar, out of anything that you like. What would you do? I would wake up and uh, probably eat like a good 10,000 calories because I just needed so much more food because I was completely deprived of all the food that I need, all, all the foods that I needed, all the foods that I wanted. So therefore, now what I'm doing, I'm including foods that I like in my, in my diet, but I'm staying in my caloric deficit every single day. Instead of waiting until Sunday, eating 10,000 calories, and then fucking up all my progress throughout the week. Uh, and that is the second mistake. Not focusing on calories in versus calories out. Punto. Finito. Cero. That's it. That's it. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything else. Just focus on that and you'll be fine. One I stole from Mike Matthews. He's one of the best authors out there. I'm telling you, one of the best. Mike Matthews is the author of Bigger, Lean and Stronger, uh, which is one of the books that I read over two years ago that gave me a lot of uh, insight of what I really needed to do instead of to achieve my full potential. Um, but that goal, I'm so happy that I'm, and I'm so grateful that I'm able to work with them now. Uh, if you can see them, just go to Legion. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, you can buy the protein or just support whatever you can. It's amazing. Uh, it's one of the best companies that I've seen out there. And the third thing, the last thing, is you gotta make today valuable. How do you make today valuable? This one I stole from Um So you pick an end date. Let's suppose 90 days out. So 90 days out. Myself, me, myself, I'm having a photo shoot 67 days out. I'm 67 days out today. So you're basically making today valuable. So now you say to yourself, no, I have to go to the gym. I have to 
stay in my caloric deficit, I have to, because if not, then I'm gonna fuck up all the progress that I've made and I won't be able to achieve my full potential. Having an end date that you can't push is one of the best things you can do because um, you're basically making everything in your environment valuable. So uh, you're giving value to something that is meaningless, like a week, and um, you're taking that and you're saying, okay, so if I'm 90 days out, I'm 12 weeks out from my competition, from my photo shoot, whatever it is, then you're taking that week and you're saying to yourself, I'm making this as valuable as possible. I'm gonna make this week as much progress as I can. I'm gonna push myself because I want 90 days from today, I wanna be the best person of myself. Whereas in other instances, we're just going around in the gym with no end goal, then you're just pushing yourself like this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get in better shape. I'm gonna get in better shape someday, someday, someday. But then suddenly you tell someone or maybe you announce it on social media. That's one of the best things actually. So maybe you announce it on social media and you tell, okay, so 12 weeks out from today, I'm gonna be at 190 hundred pounds, 190 pounds or whatever you want. So yeah, you're 12 weeks out from that photo shoot, from that uh, competition, from that marathon, whatever you want. So basically every day that goes in, you're making, you're getting closer, you're getting closer, you're getting closer. And as you're getting closer, you're gonna find yourself with a lot of stress and you're gonna find that there's no way to push this. So therefore, every time that you're getting closer, Wow, everything, everything changes. So those are the three biggest mistakes that I did or didn't make when I started turning out. Let's wait. And uh, I gotta go to sleep because tomorrow it's gonna be a hell of a day. Actually, let me show you. Let me show you what my week is gonna look like. Okay, so. Look at this. Look at my week. I don't know if you can see. Okay, so basically I have pretty much myself every day at 6 a.m., which is my training. Uh, they have training clients over here, training with people, pam, 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 every single day. And then my job, which takes about 40 hours of week, then I come in at 7 p.m. and I leave somewhere around 1 or 2 a.m. and then I'm training with other people over here helping them with the diets and right now I'm basically doing the program for everyone to follow this week so this is June 2017 and this is gonna be myself wait wait this is gonna be myself I like training first thing in the morning so I'm gonna put that in the, in the calendar at 6 a.m. every single day so there's no way to escape that Anyhow, I'll leave you over here. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. I will chase the night. Race all of these broken dreams in flight. And we'll fly